or truth of life that change is the only thing we can rely on. But you know, when you're young and vulnerable and you're going through so many dramatic changes and trauma, I think that perhaps the only way that I knew of controlling my environment was controlling my food. And on top of that, of course, what is, I think, extremely um, disturbing is that I was being rewarded by the world. You know, the thinner I got, the more that I shrunk, the more I was celebrated. Even before cancer, you were fighting very much with uh, what we now know as uh, bulimia. And every time you, you went off and, you know, you, you, you wanted to throw up and you refused to eat, etc. Just tell us, share with the audience how you were able to come out of that in, in, in some ways. Thank you, yes. That's... Um and again, something that I felt very uh, strongly about highlighting because I believe that, you know, as much as my struggles with uh, food eating disorders happened 35 years ago, I think it's still very, very relevant to uh, particularly in the world that we live today, the culture that we live today, and especially for uh, younger women, uh, which is why I wanted to highlight it. So I do feel that, you know, these eating disorders, in my understanding, even though I didn't actually get professional help, are also connected, you know, they're mental disorders as well, and also connected with emotional trauma on some level, you know. There's some part of you that does not feel worthy, just uh, simply does not feel lovable. And then also with this idea of control. Now, my life has spiraled out of control too many times for me almost to name. And, you know, a part of my uh, questioning has been ha about my relationship with change. And fortunately, through my Buddhist practices, I've come to a great sense of peace with this, this ineffable fact or truth of life that change is the only thing we can rely on. But, you know, when you're young and vulnerable and so you're going through so many dramatic changes and trauma, I think that perhaps the only way that I knew of controlling my environment was controlling my food. And on top of that, of course, what is, I think, extremely um, disturbing is that I was being rewarded by the world. You know, the thinner I got, the more that I shrunk, the more I was celebrated. And I think that that's a really powerful thing to put out there as well. And a really powerful thing, I hope, also for young women to maybe mull over. And it's really about taking back your own voice and your own power. We do not need outside validation from anybody. Your power is within you. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.